so today's been interesting and get some goofy girl that's texted me since last night and I start checking messages for people for the storage auction purchases and and this one girl must have sent me 30 or 40 messages before 10 in the morning I mean I don't know why these people will think I'm supposed to babysit them it just is ridiculous and uh I mean, it's a real simple thing. Are you in town? Are you ready? And then she's telling me, yeah, I'm ready. Finally, she says that. I didn't get to her because I don't open till 11. That I was going to try to take her before that. And she kept sending all the stupid messages. And so, anyway, finally, at, you know, about 11 o'clock, she says she's ready. She's in town. She's half a mile away. All that kind of junk. And, then, uh, I'm waiting on her, and ten minutes later, she hasn't shown up, and, uh, then she sends a message, oh, I forgot I had to take my dog to the bed, that'll probably be this time, and then there'll probably this other time, because I could do this other errand, and so it'll probably be around that time, and I said, just send a message when you're ready. So then she sent about four more goofy damn messages, and I, I just turned around and blocked her. These people just sit playing on the phone while they're, well, the, the green turn signal's on for the left turn. Show you my lady. Come on, let's go. You stop, and then you go. So anyway, um, I never seen more confused people in my lifetime. So anyway, I uh, blocked her. You know, if they get real problematic, I just put the block on them because I don't have time to babysit them. They're just going to keep it up. And then uh, I had one guy that's been dancing me for a couple days over a $10 sander or something. $10 power tool, I think it's sander. And, uh, uh, I told him, I said, you know, not open until 11 to 5. And I sent a couple more messages. He's like, let us know when you're ready. I always say us, you know. Then, uh, he sends a message a little while later. It's a da 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 da. And, and I'm like, it's what, what is listed in the ad. Hey, ding bat. What the hell do you think you just pull out there for? And that guy's from Texas. I know you're smarter than that. Because I've been to Texas many times. So then, uh, then he sends a message just a minute ago. He says, okay, I'm here, I'm ready. And I said, great, I'm with a customer. So send me a message about 15 minutes. So it's like 4.45, you know. But I haven't heard back from him yet, so I don't know. But as a rule, it's not good to do it before that time, before 11 or after 5, because I'm going to tell you, they dance you, dance you, dance you. Even if you tell them, okay, look, if you can be here 15 minutes then I'll wait, but otherwise we closed at 5, you know, and, and they, they'll jerk you around. They'll come up with 150 different excuses, and I'm on my way, and then 40 minutes later they send a message all night, and, you know, like I had some guy today that said, okay, you know, I'll wait over by da-da-da, and it was like, I didn't even see the message until about 20 minutes after that. I was busy, so uh, I said, um, I'm with a customer, and uh, then when I, when I got done, I sent him a message and said, are you in town now, and then he waits about seven minutes, and then he says, well, I've got other things to do. I'm on my way or something. I said, all right, we 
we only take, you know, appointments, like, right when people are ready, and if we're not with a customer. So, yeah. So, anyway, no sales today. Uh, had a lot of prospective people that were, like, so ready. But, I mean, those messages will fly all night long. But, oh, just be ding, 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 all night long. One, two, three, four in the morning. Those people going cuckoo, you know. I got a bunch of t-shirts that I washed. And I'm taking all that stuff and washing it. And then, and then listing it before I donate it. And I've got t-shirts for a dollar, men's t-shirts, okay. size large. Take a picture. Let's go. Drive that car. Jeez. And so, uh, it just, oh man, it was so hot today. But anyway, I had the t shirts listed, and I got. When you get stuff really cheap, you know, I put them a dollar each, you get every jamoke in the world is going to send you 150 different messages like, are they banned t-shirts? Are they, you know, this, that, vintage collectors, you know, and all the stuff's in the ad. I took a shower this morning and it felt like I hadn't taken any shower. No, I took a shower twice today, as a matter of fact. Two times. Yep. I feel like I hadn't taken any shower. It's smoking hot, like 90 degrees today. What's really strange is the Starbucks in a bottle. It appears that there must be a national shortage because three different stores don't have any for a week. And I took one this morning that I had in my cold bag. And boy, don't be smoking next to that guy. He got that stuff squirting away and playing on his phone at the same time. That's a real cost effective. Um, but anyway. Don't let a cigarette, whatever you do. Anyway, uh, I'm 
paper here. I'm gonna tape this. Shoot, I think I'm just parking both. Just be a butthead. Oh, that's a boy car anyway. Alright. <laughs> 